As we are now more or less familiar with displays and layouts, let's have a closer look at their application in practice. And first I'll take you back to the pitch display layout. I will demonstrate what happens when a sustained note is sung, and for that I'm going to press record button in the toolbar at the top here, and before I do, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, because when I press record, it's going to pick up my voice, and I just want to show you the exercise and how it can be saved. Um, so I'm going to give myself a target pitch when I press record button, and it will be C4. Then I'm going to sing the note, and it will be represented on a graduated scale. And then we see what we can do next with that file. Let's give it a go. Ah. We now stop it and play it back. Ah. We can then Save the file. And later on we can open it when we open the program. It's going to be saved in the folder that you've chosen to save it in. And if we open, we would need to press play. That's how we hear it again. You might want to experiment with different exercises and find ways in which the program works for you. So I'm not going to delve too deeply into demonstration of exercises. We're just going to have a quick look at how the program shows transition from pitch to pitch and how consonants can interrupt the flow on the example of an ascending and descending major arpeggio. So first I'm going to do it on R and then on ma sound. Let's press record button. Now we're going to play it back. Before we switch to the spectrogram layout, which is available only in the professional version, let's briefly go back to the level meter, and it can be seen on the right side. Um, the level meter can be useful in aiding awareness of dynamic changes in the singing voice, and if you are training classical voice, it could help in teaching messa di voce. It could also help to develop consistent volume through register changes.